G'day guys, Mark here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we've got another unboxing to do. Uh, this one's a little bit different, a little bit unusual for us. Again, we have the UDI Tylosaurus. Now, the reason behind this is I'm going to a Bucks show next weekend where one of my best mates is getting married. Um, and we've all got to bring something, some kind of entertainment. So it's going to, where, where we're staying is right on the side of a river. So this is what we're taking. There's an 80% chance and above this won't come home. So we're going to get to have a look at it now as best as we can. So uh, according to the box, it's 25 inches Ooh. of RTR self writing flam. I don't know what the hell a flam is, but alright. So, self riding hull design, water cooled system. I hope that's a water cooled motor and not water cooled electronics. Poor signal alarm. Poor signal, that's disturbing. Low battery alarm. High speed sailing. <laughs> Multiplayer. Uh huh. Alright, guys. Let's open it up and let's have a look. It does look pretty fancy, so uh, yeah, let's have a look at it, guys. Uh, it's a brushless system and supposedly supports 3S and 4S. So it should go pretty good. Oh. oh, wow. It's big. Got everything out of the box. And we will have a look through those. Some decals. Oh, it does come with a battery and a charger. That looks like a support frame. You get some tools with it, um, a wrench, and a couple of them cheap nasty spanners that you get with IKEA furniture. So we'll dig out the transmitter, which is in the bottom here, so power cord for your charger. Oh. Oh, that was easy to get out. Alright, so we put the phone box aside for now. Away out of reach of the canine chainsaw, the dog. That dog can make short work of a cardboard box. All right, so let's uh, have a bit of a look at it. All right, guys, I thought it'd be easier if I put the boat stand together to have a look at it. And we better put some stickers on it. The most important ones, RCU in the shed and the name of it. The rest of it, bleh, whatever. Time to break out the tape measure and see if it is as long as what they say it is. So apparently it's supposed to be 645 millimeters. Um, that whole length is only 585 millimeters. But if you measure it to the back of the keel and the prop, it's actually 675 mil. So that's close enough to 700 mil long, guys, including your prop and keel. That is, it's actually a, a big boat. That's quite nice. Okay, so you've got a 
a water jacket on the inside here so you've got a water cooled motor which the water flows in through your steering rudder here comes in goes in through this little waterproof bag that you've got in here so all of your electro I don't know if you can see that guys all of your electronics are in a waterproof bag there and right up the front there you've got water I've got some it's filled with foam okay. what is interesting though too is it's a fairly big battery pack the 3s 2500 amp hour there's no ballast on the other side of the boat to balance it out so that will be interesting to see how that performs that means you'd have to have your steering trim permanently set to counteract that um, yeah it, all right well let's plug it in and see how the lights and everything look guys all right that looks seriously cool right so to control the lights you've got a little switch on the side of the transmitter here so totally forward makes them flash center is just on and that's off but we're going to leave them on because we are going to do the coolest thing ever we're going to take this for a night run test run over our flood lit uh, pond dam so uh, let's go and give it a crack guys I don't know how well you can see this guys but I thought it would look really cool to do it at night so if we have to we will come back and do a day run I'll just have a look at the footage Guys, this is not the largest body of water, so we can't exactly go through too full tilt. This is a little bit rough today. We've got a bit of a storm coming in, so the dam's a bit rougher than what it normally is. But at least let's get a bit of a guide going to where we're going. I'll try and get some. I just got absolutely saturated then. So we have finally hit full full tilt here. Supposedly got a lipo alarm which will tell you when the battery in the boat is going flat and tell you when you've got to bring it back. Uh, seems to be running quite well.
even handles the slightly choppier conditions quite well. Nice to have this in a much bigger body of water. Wouldn't be so nerve wracking. So we're starting to get a bit weak now. So we'll keep running it down until this alarm goes off and see that that works. There we go. The alarm went off. Beautiful. Alright guys, we're going to call it. Peace out for this video. Thank you so much for always watching and always tuning in guys. You don't have fans, you don't have a channel. Catch us in the next video.